welcome. This is the Darling Dorks Podcast. My name's Amy. I'm joined today by Carmen. Some nerds. Coco. Yeah. And Selena. That's who Selena is. Let's get started. So, today we are going to talk about conventions. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Did we already do this one? No, we oh, didn't okay. do this one. No. Yeah, Amy's just <laughs> looking around frantically. I'm just like, did no. I have a stroke and Tyler. forget? <laughs> like, <laughs> Tyler's no. just like disappointed head shake. Like, no, we did not. <laughs> we did not. This is why we have Tech Wizard Tyler around to take care of this stuff for us. <laughs> all right, so. Should do question, all the hard we... work. Just <laughs> to talk about just random shit, diving into weird tangents. But yeah, sorry, go. That was one of my tangents as an example. I'm sorry. Go. I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> let's start off and go around. Have you guys ever been to a convention? I have been to the <laughs> convention downtown. At the downtown. At the downtown. It's really embarrassing that you would admit to go to an anime convention. I went with my friends. They got one of those, um... Yeah, your friends? Were they friends or were they just body pillows? <laughs> Oh my god! Salty Selena! Selena. Oh, wow. that was amazing. Shit, you know what? They had a dance that was Sailor Moon themed, so y'all cool. Yeah, Actually, you're that jealous. sounds really. I am jealous. <laughs> like, boom. That sounds fun. I've been to both of the just general pop culture expos in our province, and also the same anime convention that Carmen's been to, just different ones. What about you guys? I've been to the comic conventions in both the major cities in our province. Mm-hmm. And then I've been to tattoo expos. Yeah. And because I do pole fitness, I've been to the, like, adult the sex, sex show. expo. Right? My friends go to that one. Pretty yeah. Yeah. We're excited. You can oh say it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I've been to the sex expo. I won't say the actual name. But, um, but yeah, uh, our, like, pole studio has a booth there and sometimes our instructors perform and stuff so yeah so i hung out there with my friends oh we know selena wiener's been to a ton of oh yeah Yeah. everyone knows do you know how many you've been to like Like, literally no but don't your parents pull you out of school yeah that's right you guys they did for real um some of my like i've been to like a lot um some of my favorites were my parents had a lot of literary conventions is what they did when we were younger. Nerds. So like we went to Yeah, that's right, motherfuckers. So <laughs> we went to LA's World Con and Toronto's World Con and those are really fun because it's a bunch of authors. My parents were like, nice. We gotta talk about books. That's pretty awesome. And then they would go and talk about books and Alicia and I would be like, ooh, the costume contest and it would be fucking lit. Mm. Nice. Yes. Don't you Winnie guys just love the costume contest? It's so good. So People good. are crazy. People honestly are so talented. It's, it's like, wow, you made shit. And how long that must have taken you. Yeah, I want it's so sad that only I, one. Yeah, I once saw someone do like a whole, and this is like before 3D printing, like a whole Master Chief outfit. Oh my God. But it looked like so good. Like it literally looked like Master Chief. And I was like, how? And I think like, they were made out of, right? Like, I don't, Probably Warbler. Angry, Probably. Whatever that is, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Some kind of material or textile, I would assume. <laughs> wow. You, Thank you. Uh, <laughs> but, Thanks, Selena. Oh my gosh. And like, also, I remember I went to like a key con in Winnipeg once before, when we were living. This isn't a spoiler. I used to live in Winnipeg, mm. right? Can yeah. Oh, yeah, is you, it gonna be? I used to live in Redacted! <laughs> well, I mean, congrats. Now they can strike off the list that we don't live in Winnipeg. Yeah. yeah. Um, Nobody lives there. I remember once there was like this like this really cool thing where they had like these nights and I was like a young kid. And my there was a knight that gave me a rose because they all get to pick Aww. like a Aww. like a like a lady or whatever to fight for. And this knight gave me a rose, and then he beat the shit out of every other knight. And I was like, Yeah, that's my knight, that's my knight. And he was like, Yeah, and he was like some dude. That that's is so amazing. Cute. That's he was like, so cute. You know cute. what? Fuck you guys. It was awesome. So what do you find? You go. We'll stick to like mostly like nerdy conventions. Oh, like yeah, yeah, that sort of stuff. What do you go to conventions for? Like, what is your favorite part? Um, the guests. The guests, yeah. It's the guests. And also, like, the shopping is so much fun. Shopping yeah. is oh my, my number one tied with the guests. Because and, literally, yeah. that's all I go for. And, and the art is so cool, too. Mm-hmm. I love, like, Artist Alley. My parents used to... 
like, my parents buy a lot of art. So one of the favorite things is going to, like, the art auctions and, like, bidding on the art and, like, if it's a silent auction or if it's, like, one of the ones where the guy's like, but I'm the but I'm the... And four, can I get a five dollars? Wow, that was a perfect. <laughs> Whatever. That's you like, should become an auctioneer. Thanks. Boom. That's yeah. my oh my job. god! It's if you guys want us to do a Darling Dorks auction, we will make sure it's hosted by <laughs> Selena. And your uh, your portfolio here. <laughs> Who can give one dollar to this starving artist? Too rich for my life. Starting bid is fifty cents because that's <laughs> more than the artist has in their bank oh, account. Oh. Oh. But like, there's so <laughs> many like greatness to me, like comic cons are like so nostalgic you know because oh, it's yeah. like childhood and it's like oh yeah and i remember and i used to go my my mom would make me costumes for Aww. like alicia and i <laughs> and we'd go and it used to look fucking so cool and people would always think that your costume was better than it is because you're a kid <laughs> oh no i love yeah. when i see kids in cosplay know, like so oh my cute. god that's my it. favorite part or like an entire cool. family yeah, yeah. So my, one of my favorite family cosplays was uh, I saw a family dressed as the Belchers of Bob's Burger. Nice. Yes. That is really cute, actually. And they had, so like, cute. the full family there. Nice. And I was like, this is perfect. This is goals. Like That's awesome. One of That's my so favorite cosplay moments was Coco and I were both at the same oh, yeah! convention. <laughs> Didn't know that we were both at the same convention because this was pretty early on when we knew each other. Mm. And... Coco was dressed up like Mary Poppins, and I was like, oh, I'm going to go get a picture of that awesome Mary Poppins, and Coco and turned Coco. around, and it was Coco. Yeah, I was <laughs> looking so at something. Awesome. I was at a board games table, and so I was looking at board games. I didn't even notice Amy come oh, to me, awesome. and then she was like, excuse me, can I get your picture? And I look up, because I'm wearing a hat, so my face is probably kind <laughs> of, like, concealed a little bit when Amy first came up to me. So then I, like, look up, and I'm like, and we're both just like, oh my god, hi! <laughs> it was so it funny. Was so good. Thomas just looked like, what? Yeah. And I was like, oh. Yeah, it was pretty <laughs> good. <laughs> Some people go full out. Like, even the ones where it's like they do the full body makeup, it's like, oh my god. And the ones where That's they're like crazy. walking around on stilts yeah. with their big thing. My favorite is I saw one that was like um, uh, the AT-ATs from... Uh, oh my god! And it like actually like that walked so around. Cool. It was so cool. I That's loved awesome. it. All right, Karma, what about you? What's your favorite part? Oh, the costumes. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like to, because the, the people, professional people sometimes mm-hmm. are, but like all just like the random average Joes and the crappy costumes and the great costumes mm-hmm. and everybody's having fun no matter what they're wearing. And I think that's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. so fun. Oh my gosh. I like dressing just, up too. I, th- yeah. I think I would. I never have actually yet, but I'm pretty sure I would. You would love dressing yeah. up. Carmen. Oh yeah. yeah. I, I I feel like we should dress you up this like year. Like in the theme, like themed parties we have, like superhero mm-hmm. parties or whatever. Yeah. Like I, I like to get dressed up. So I think I would do that for cons too. Yeah, so what fun. you're saying is you should do an avatar themed birthday party for your yeah. birthday. Yeah, <laughs> should have. Yeah, <laughs> we'll plan idea. this for next Dang. year. We'll we'll figure that out. So okay, we all said we like the guests. Who's been your favorite guest that you've met oh, at a convention? That is such a hard question. And like, I'm gonna say mm. disclaimer: I almost always just do the photo ops. I don't go wait to go get an autograph just because yeah. I don't see a I point. Liked this, I liked Sir Patrick Stewart's speech. Oh, I liked seeing that because it made me have emotions. I was like, that's an old man. <laughs> that's an old oh, man. Oh, Harry my- Fisher. Oh, my God. Yeah? That one made me emotional. Okay. At that expo, I did not get to go see Carrie Fisher, but I was standing right beside Carrie Fisher for dog for like twenty oh minutes. My God. Oh my God. I was like, "Why is this dog left here?" And then I went, "What kind of dog is Wait, it? Wait, it's Carrie Fisher's what's dog. The, what's his name again? Oh, uh, I can't remember to it's save like my life. Pug what is he demon like? looking? I think dog. he's a pug. Oh, no. It's like a weird little Carrie, like girl bitty pond. dog. <laughs> She's on. dead now, so you can feel better about. Oh. <laughs> Isn't it the dog? Is dead? Isn't that no. Carrie's dog? The dog went to the daughter i think after carrie died oh yeah what's her name that great actress she's really funny yeah. oh my god i love her in scream queens i know so she's so, so gary good. and gary looks like a little beetle like this is what gary looks like yeah like, he looks really weird oh he's like a frenchy bulldog yeah type thing. like okay. just with its tongue out yeah constantly. i walked beside him for like 20 minutes in the vendor hall and then afterwards, I realized I went. You know what? I didn't get to meet Carrie Fisher, but I got to stand oh, beside her dog for like really twenty cute. minutes. It he was wasn't great. under like lock and key. I feel like the dog should have been on a pillow. He was right being walked her. around. So yeah, Carrie Fisher. Gary's a dog. Gary. What, Gary. what about you, Coco? Do you have a favorite? A favorite? Uh, a guest? Um, probably. 
It's really hard. I have to say uh, the folks I saw from Stranger Things um, mm. because, uh, oh God, I forget their real names. I'm a horrible person. Um, but Nancy and Barb. Yeah. Uh, oh, I got yeah, to yeah. see Nancy and Barb. Natasha, um, Dyer, and very cute Barb. Shannon. Uh, Sha- oh yeah, Shannon something. Um, anyway, yeah, those two. So I went to their panel and I asked a question. What was my question? I don't remember, but I went up to ask a question and I was strategically dressed as 11 that day. (laughs) And, uh, I had my like blonde curly wig and I had, uh, the box of egos and I went up there and of course, like as they do when you're in the big halls, cause this one was the the big hall panel. Um, my face was like on the big screens on either yeah. side of the stage. So like everyone can see I've got like the fake blood coming out of my nose and everything. And like the girl who plays Barb, uh, what's her name? Shannon Purser. Shannon. Shannon was like, oh my God. Like uh, she was like, this is the best costume ever. I'm so obsessed. Oh wait, never mind. I have a different favorite. It's a different Stranger Things, I guess. It's uh, Gatton. Because uh, Gatton uh, was in uh, Les Mis. Oh, really? He was yeah. Ga- he was Gavroche oh, in Les nice. Mis. And so when I said that my name was Cosette, he fucking serenaded me with a Les Mis song, Aww. like one of Marius' songs. And I can't remember exactly which line he said, but he fucking started serenading me because he's like, oh my God, your name's Cosette. Blah. And then, and I was like, huh? Because I love that child so much. He's such a <laughs> pure baby. So when he did that, I was like, oh, my nice. God, I love you Aww. so much. So never Gavin mind. Shannon. It's Gatton Matarazzo. Is it Matarazzo? Gatton Matarazzo, I think. Yeah, yeah. Gatton Matarazzo because he's a pure baby. Aww. And I love him. Have you met any guests? No, I haven't. Any? No. no. Is that, like, Want on your to... list of something you want to uh, do? Depends. Not really. Well, I walked into this auditorium where the guys from uh, the Big Bang Theory were sitting there before I realized I wasn't. I was supposed to pay for it or something, so I got ushered out. But uh, <laughs> oops. It seemed like it was. I don't know what it is. Like what you guys are talking about is it like where you sit in an auditorium and they're kind of like at the well, front of the stage. Well, there's different experiences you can have, right? Like there's panels you can go ask questions. Oh. There's photo ops where you go get a picture with them, professionally done, or you can um, go to their. Uh, booth and you can like get things autographed and talk to them okay yeah i don't really I, there's nobody that i've been like i want to I'll, I'll make you hate me the guy who does the voice of zuko i met him at one i s- actually saw him at he he has black hair right yeah 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 i saw him on a picture or walking by or something at one of the expos yeah i saw him but i don't know i just I don't know what i would say i have no really desire no questions oh, i just went to say hi me. and i got a picture with him oh cool yeah that'd be neat i also love him because he's rufio so i couldn't rufio. Rufio. oh love hook so much okay my favorites have always been the older gentlemen john rice davies so oh sweet yeah so nice and also from the fringe tv series john noble mm-hmm. he is the sweetest old man i've ever like i actually waited in line to meet him mm-hmm. got him to sign this really cool poster i found and like he was just so nice like he actually talks to you like yeah really so interested cute. yeah and we went to get the photo done because we used to watch Fringe, like, when I lived at home in, like, high school mm-hmm. with my mom and my sister. And my mom got, like, a little starstruck. She was like, oh, my God. Yeah. I was like, you are adorable, Mom. Because I've never seen my mom do that before. Yeah. yeah. So, and that's one of my favorite pictures Aww, was getting a picture so with him. Because he was so nice. Cute. Just, yeah. oh. There's some celebrities, though, that I'm like, no. No, you were, you sucked. Oh, no. Like, who? Yeah. Carrie Elwes. He looked like he was, like, just miserable and high what in the picture we got with yeah. him. He's um Dread Pirate Roberts in uh Princess Bread. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. yeah that's too bad. And then he, you pay all that money. And then yeah. I went to try to get this picture I found. So there's this woman who does pictures of like celebrities like in their characters but like shirtless. Oh, like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I know exactly so, what you're talking so about. So I got one of him yeah. as Dread Pirate Roberts, but with no shirt on, to go get it signed as a gift for my friend because she's obsessed with the Princess Bride. Yeah, he won't sign fan art. Oh, he's li- he's like off. he's like I don't want to officially support other people's art, so Why? you could only get stuff he sold signed. 
what? Well, fuck off. Yeah, I was like That's not impressed. Yeah. I'm like, cool, That's... okay, sign this picture so I can give it to my friend, but like, like I am not have... impressed. Mm-hmm. Not even yeah. a little. That's and then, so bullshit. And then the girl who played uh, Clara from oh, yeah. uh, Doctor Who. Yeah. She literally, she stood with her arms in front of her and you just stood around her. For oh, the picture, that's awkward. Ugh, like that's she, really awkward. I don't know if like this was her first time going to a convention or what, but she was like super awkward. Aww. Did not want you to get too close to her. Like, luckily, my husband and I were smart enough. We held hands behind her back, so it looked like we were standing with her, <laughs> yeah. even though we were like literally like a step back from yeah. her. Yeah, oh, that's so weird. weird. And then there's yeah. that uh, what was it, Jason? in Momoa where he's oh like, pretending God. to steal the girlfriend. Yeah. Oh my God. You see, so I love yeah. celebrities that like go crazy like that. Like John Barrowman, we've had like oh, John three Barrowman. or four different photo ops with him now. And he is like he's the cute. sweetest person I, ever. I remember my sibling went to go get a photo op because um, Alicia and my dad went to uh, a Toronto con for Alicia, one of Alicia's like graduation presents. And um, Alicia just went up to John Berman and was like, "Pick me up, John." And he picked up, he picked Alicia up for the picture, just just straight oh up. My oh my god. god! And normally they won't do that. That's and, so and cute. Such a cute picture, pick me Alicia's up, John. Like, ah! They're like, "It's my birthday. Oh my god. Pick me up." That's so uh, sweet. Uh, John Berman was like, "You got it." I'm like, Aww. "You want it? You got it." John Berman will literally do anything though. I like, I just he's want to Okay, he's like a cute little guy. Uh, you'll probably recognize him. Okay, so we've talked like about what we like. <laughs> yes. He's an yes. otter, but we're not going to look that up What's for Carmen. John Moransky? No, Barrowman. Oh, Barrowman. <laughs> okay, so we've talked about what you like. What do you not like about conventions? How expensive like it is. Also, like, the sexual harassment. Yeah, like, 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 sexual harassment. like, I'm going to spill the tea like the men. <laughs> like, I don't... <laughs> Like, I don't, uh, like, the fact, like, okay, first of all, I love that they do this disclaimer. I love that they do this. I hate that they have to do this. Mm -hmm. The signs that are, like, costumes do not equal consent. Like, the fact that we have to cover that, they're like, because I'm wearing a costume based on a person who was designed to as scantily clad, like, to look like her, I have to be scantily clad because that's the system we live in. So, like, the fact that we have to say just because I'm not wearing very many clothes doesn't mean you can grab me wherever you want yeah, and whatever yeah, sure. you want. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, like, I, a, I love that the signs are up, but I just hate that... If there's um, if there's a, a person in a really cool costume and you can kind of see them across the way and you take a picture, is that, like, a bad thing? Yes. Well, what I normally no. do is I ask for permission. Like, I will ask yeah. them, hey, can I have a picture? If you're in a yeah. costume, then doesn't that, like... Not that, you know, costume is consent, but if I was, like, decked out in a costume, I'd be super flattered if people were taking my picture all the time. <laughs> but, but well, the that's the time... thing. It's different if someone comes up to me and they're like, hey, can I take a picture? Like, I will virtually, unless you're, like, a super duper creep about it, I will never say no yeah. to someone who's like, can, so can I take a picture? Because I worry about your intentions oh, if so you you're might not, sneaking if you, a picture. If you yeah. work, like, you can just think about simply, like, if you worked a million years to get, like, the perfect costume, you would want to, like, make sure that it's presented the best way. Yeah, So, true. like, that's why you should. <laughs> and, yeah. like, and I... Also, it's easy enough to jump in and be like, hey, can I take your picture? I know yeah. I know. sometimes it's hard to not want to just be like... I just, like, because I'm sitting there and I just, like, zoom in and I'm like, click, that's badass, and I'll I have it forever. I also do it because sometimes the people that I'm taking pictures of are children. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. And so, uh, but I will ask the parents and then I ask the kid. I've never had that. One. I I've say, parents, parents, is it okay if I take a picture of your kid? And they're like, yes. And then I will, depending on how little the kid is, potentially kneel down and like talk to them. And I'm like, hey, I really like your costume. Is yeah. it okay if I take a picture of you? I've never seen and a kid. And usually they're like, okay, because they're playing mom said it's okay. So, like, I've never seen a kid in such a good costume that I want a picture. Sometimes of. kids can be really good. I know, I need to go to more cons, man. Yeah, you do, yeah. You need to come with us more. They're expensive, but they're fun. Yeah. Expensive. Yeah. yeah. And also, the con flu, that is a real thing. Dear yeah. God, I get it every time. You yeah. Because of all the germs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm, Hand sanitizer is your best friend. Mm-hmm. But also, um, the fact that uh, not enough companies have figured out how to market their products to cover everyone. Mm, yeah. Like, people We're talking who are to not you. regular sizes. Shirts that are yes. just cut for men. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> they are yeah. too long. They are too likely to, like, yeah. choke you out because they yeah. are super yeah. high. Yeah. They're horrible. We love your patterns. 
Put them in our sizes and we will buy them. Yeah. yeah. I know, like, 100%. Especially when you're paying, like, 50 bucks for a t-shirt. A t-shirt it's yeah. like, you don't have to it go better, to Michael's. It better again. fit. Like, I, yeah. it, it better be comfortable. Five and bucks for a all hundred. con t-shirts are that scratchy t- t-shirt material. Yeah, they are. They're, like, that shitty, like, you got, like, a free band camp shirt. Yes. So. Material. And it's just like, yeah. come on. That's why whenever I see a retailer that carries inclusive sizing i always take their card and i'm like yes yeah because a lot of them will even be like if you're like oh you know you don't have my size they're like i have it at home like i'll bring it tomorrow or you know email me and we can set that up like i've had that happen before where i'm like i need this skirt you need to bring it in my size and she's like i'll bring it tomorrow i actually had this really cool the last con i went to there was this really cool makeup company and i like think that makeup was cool and it was called like fangirls and they had um like it's like uh cruelty free makeup that's produced in canada oh, and, nice. but they all have it like themed for like different cool nerdy shit so like there's like a slytherin eyeshadow palette that's one i got but there was also, oh like, yeah Gryffindor. right like there was stuff for like other things like i remember there was like some supernatural makeup and like some general like harley quinn that's cool stuff like Batman like stuff yeah. like that but I thought that was just the coolest shit ever and I'm like yes innovation yes <laughs> and quality because the eyeshadows are really nice actually nice like they still see and I find that good. lots of companies that don't necessarily go to cons are totally embracing the idea that other people like fit like fangirl quote-unquote mm-hmm. stuff and they're starting to like license and make the product mm-hmm. yeah like Torrid makes quality fangirl stuff so cool. in plus sizes yeah we're that you tour. can't find but downside they only carry it online oh well, yeah like who wants to buy clothes online you don't yeah. know what that's gonna fuck that is the you. downside if they carried them in store they would sell out but that's oh, my yeah. that's my own gripe i will yeah. have with them another yeah. day what um, do you know you're just one of their paying customers right <laughs> the right the minute they came to canada i was like buy yeah, no everything. i remember it. Yeah. Yeah, like amy was on a torrid rampage oh my god <laughs> so much money all right <laughs> all right so I have a Carmen Explains Things. <gasps> oh, goody. All Hello. right, Selena, you want to do our theme song? Yeah, I it's forgot first. again. Carmen Explains Things. Carmen Explains Things. Please tell us about the thing that you were going to explain to us. I think us. you need to tell me the topic first so that I have two seconds to think about it. I'll give you two seconds. Oh, so I want so you to explain what your dream convention would be like. Oh, oh that's oh, such shit. a good one. Okay. Oh. Okay. Holy crap. So I want you to tell me... Like, if there's a specific theme, what sort of stuff you would want to have there. Okay. If there are any, like, special guests you would want. Oh, okay. Holy crap. Okay. Okay. I'm giving you, I'm giving you points to work off of. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to start the timer. Are you ready? Okay. All right. And go. Okay. I want it to be, like, inside and outside on a lovely mm. summer day. And the outside part would be the jungle theme for, like, all the Disney stuff. Yeah! And inside, we could have our Avatar. We could have our Water World. I would want Avatar, Gravity Falls, um, Disney. It's pretty much the only good things. So <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Covered all the good things in the world. <laughs> That's it. And there'd be a costume contest. And you could buy, like, legit costumes there. I don't know if you can at cons, but I haven't really seen anything. Because I really want, like, beautiful costumes for all the... All the, um, I mean, people can still wear whatever they want. If you want to, like, bring in your own, like, nerdy shit, that's fine. But that's the only shows I really care about. That clock is black. I have no idea how much time I have. Um, you have 19, 18 oh, seconds. Oh, food. Lots of food. Lots of food <laughs> from the shows that you can get. Recipes. Um, the, uh, I would want Walt Disney to be there as well, because I would love to meet him. <laughs> from the dead? dead? Yeah. Okay. All right. And what would your convention be called? Three... Uh, Carm's convention, obviously. <laughs> awesome. I, like I mean, it. honestly, I like the food it. idea is so good. Like, having food, like... How you know, much con food cool. sucks. Con well, food like, sucks, but having, like, a, a con food, food that's, like, from the show that yeah. you that would be, that'd be so, so cool. Good. To like, be fair, our local con has started bringing food trucks in, and when the weather's not garbage, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> I think that the yeah. outdoor part, if there was more stuff outside, people wouldn't get as sick because you wouldn't be breathing in all these you know, recirculated German. Yeah, but imagine, yeah. like, going, at, and there's, like, a Cabbage Man store. Where, That's my cabbage! Man! Like, you know, like, <laughs> and then Cabbage know, Corp like, cabbage down the way. Corp, yeah, <laughs> it's, like, a Cabbage Corp food, and you can just go and have uh, 
cabbage related food and items. And you can eat so like fun. the like the salmon geese or whatever. Yeah, they would make all, yeah, like just fun stuff like have a armadillo big there. Oppa that you could take yeah. pictures on. Oh, yeah. yeah, like that would be great. Also, everything Gravity Falls would be amazing. Mm-hmm. It would be so good. Okay, now personal question. There is a Disney fan convention. Is it is really? all just Disney. It happens every two years in Anaheim. Oh. And at it, they release stuff for TV shows, movies, video games, and all of the parks. That's really cool. Would okay. you go? Yeah, because I love cons. Uh, so oh. it's less about the Disney and more about the con. I just love cons. <laughs> like, I'm not disagreeing. Like, I like going to cons, too. Oh, yeah. I'm stupid. I've also been to teacher's convention. Oh, that doesn't <laughs> fucking oh Yes, it does! It. It's a convention! It's a convention! Okay, what, what about Amy's question? Would you do the Disney one? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like... I feel like for me to travel that far for a convention, it's got to be something I'm like really, really hype about. Well, like, I feel like really, I would, really hype. I would do it for Disneyland or World or whatever, but I do like the idea of that because I, like, at the anime con and the other con I went to, there was so, I knew, like, two things, and the rest of it was just random costumes that were kind of neat. So Disney, I would actually know about everything, and I feel like I'd get more of the experience mm-hmm. that other people that go to a lot of cons get because they know all these characters from random shows. You know? Oh, yeah. Well, I would I'm know. a diehard, so it's, like, on yeah. my bucket list. Yeah. yeah, I just love the the concept of, like, curating your interests in this one locale, and you're around a bunch of people who, like, yeah. you can walk up to Joe Blow and have a cool conversation with them because yeah. you oh, probably yeah. like the same shit. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, it's my dream. Also, all of the exclusive merch. I would be yeah. so broke when I came home. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so broke. What exclusive merch would be cool, too. Yeah. I'd wear, like, a one of the Disney princess dresses. Oh, my God. I would dress you up like Rapunzel in a heartbeat. Oh, that'd be cool. Oh, yeah. my God. That would be so good. I'd have to look at all the dresses to see which one. <laughs> that's oh, our that's our project. I'd want card captors at my thing and all of her costumes. Yeah. Oh, that'd be, yeah, that'd be cool. So, do you think that conventions are a way for people to, like, explore fan culture, or do you think it's too elitist? Ooh. Por no los dos. Yeah, exactly. Like, I think that nerds definitely have a history of being very elitist, because obviously they have to be elitist about something. <laughs> male nerds. <laughs> yeah. No, what? Like, Sorry, not, I guess I'm just sick male. in my throat. <laughs> to be fair, to I've, be fair I've found not. myself thinking stuff like, that is I'm definitely such too elitist. elitist. Like, like, it's not good. Like, I think I think sometimes we've even watched Game of Thrones together, our group here. Yeah. And, like, someone I know who's, like, not a nerd at all, has never expressed any interest, just, like, posted the other day, oh, I'm drinking wine and watching Game of Thrones. I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm just like, no, I'm not okay with this. Yeah. Oh, we'll <laughs> what? I'm just like, you're right. seven seasons behind. Yeah. <laughs> I think that... At the con, though, it's different. I feel people are more elitist outside of that. At the con, like, I don't know anything about anything, but everyone is always so friendly for pictures, explaining their character, their favorite episodes. Of sh- like, everyone's mm-hmm. super nice. I don't feel like um, le- like an idiot or anything. Yeah, yeah. Maybe Even it's just because of who I... Maybe it's, like, selection bias of, like, who I choose to interact with because oh, I personally have never had... Someone be like, "Oh yeah, you you like you're a fan of this thing. Uh, name me the fucking uh, like oh, obscure. L- name this obscure trivia. Like I I personally have never had that happen to me, but I also know that it happens because I have heard lots of stories that it happens, including Selena yeah. being shooketh that that's never happened to me. Yeah, so like that <laughs> proves that no, it's like, like it's very think- prevalent in like the Magic the Gathering community for some reason. Uh, like, well, I anyone- think part of that Selena yeah. is you're like conventionally attractive, and I'm not conventionally attractive. Are so like, not? no, really, no. How do you know? Straight men don't talk to me. Selena. Really? Why? Never. You're nice to talk to. Yeah, but if I'm not nice to look at by their standards, <laughs> nice then they don't care at. about me. I don't understand. Me. This doesn't make sense to me. I know. It doesn't make sense, but they don't talk to me. Really? That's wild. Yeah. That's weird. Straight men talk to me. Yeah, because you're conventionally attractive. So that's <laughs> that's why they don't believe that you could possibly 
really be into these things. Yeah, like that one time, guys, this is real. This one guy literally asked me at a Magic the Gathering tournament. I think I mentioned this before. He was like, wouldn't you rather be shopping? Like, that's literally oh, something yeah, he told yeah. me, uh, like, to my face. Yeah. <laughs> but I told her, I get it, though, because like, if someone, like, came to me and said, oh, I am, like, the biggest Avatar fan ever, I'd be like, showdown right now, <laughs> because nobody is a bigger Avatar fan than me. I'll physically and then But that's, fight that's you. not you being like, oh, you're just a fake fan. Like, that's different because you're just like no i'm super i'm super passionate about this thing also you're not being like "Mm, no you're a fake fan you're saying you're a fan for attention which is like what these people are insinuating i feel like i've experienced it more outside of cons than i have at actual cons yeah Yeah, same yeah it's like yeah because like when i sometimes there have been people where i'm like they know i'm crazy into disney i love it all i can list it all yeah and they're like oh i read this thing blah 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 i was like no actually it's this and they're like no, it's not. I'm like, <laughs> do you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> like, please bring and it. And an entire room of people go, you're not going to win. Yeah, <laughs> it's Amy. You lose. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. And, like, I know I don't know everything, but, you know, it's one of those things. You have your things. You're like, yeah. but, no, I feel like cons, for the most part, as, as long as we acknowledge, like, Cosplay is not consent. I think yeah. for the most part, I actually have a really great time at cons. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. they're a yeah. good. I think they're a nice space, and at least our local ones are very like safe space. They try to be. Yeah, um, they're run by the same people, so that yeah. helps. Like the, it's the same organization. I yeah. really want to go to the one. I want to go to Gen Con in Indianapolis. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's a convention, but it's just about tabletop role playing, and it's like <laughs> shifting me into maximum overdrive. I want to go to Gen Con. I'm actually I shocked you and Dakota haven't gone yet. No, we really <laughs> want to, but we're going to Hawaii and we can't stop. Oh, like you we, poor I thing. know that's some really yeah. horrible that we have to go to Hawaii and that my parents <laughs> are paying for like. 90% of my fucking Hawaii trip. <laughs> it's I really, like, life. my life is really hard. It is. It's so tough. It's the hardest life ever. Maybe next year they'll pay for 90% of your uh, job. Yeah, home. I'm hoping. Because <laughs> my dad really wants to go, so I'm kind of like, ooh. Okay, huh. so I think the last thing I want to ask is, I'm sure we're all aware of different conventions mm-hmm. that are out there. Yeah. Do you have, like, a dream convention you would love to go to? If you could get tickets to Travel Was Not a Concern... Where would you want to go? I, Ooh, I, I know. think I know. I my think answer. I want to go to. Oh, I want to go to. Uh, uh, well, I guess that's a festival. Burn okay, it? never mind. Uh, no, uh, I was gonna say a, a burlesque festival that I just learned about. That is like queer only. That's cool. Um, but that's like a festival. Um, I, I, we could include that in our. It's called uh, Fierce. Fierce Burlesque Festival. That's cool. Oh, nice. Um, and it travels every year. That's so cool. Um, yeah. so I, I know a lot of people in the burlesque community in our city, and uh, someone I know who uh works in our local burlesque festival. She's they're on the board. They said that they're thinking of trying to get Fierce to come to our city, uh, like next That's year. That's so cool. Oh, nice. Um, because the festival's in May, so not this year, but um, next year. So, oh, like, cool. that would be really, really cool, and I would love to do that. So, I, I know where I would go, and it's really weird. My favorite kind I've ever been to is Winnipeg's KeyCon. It's fucking amazing. What it's is really KeyCon? Small. It's a literary convention. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, but it's very, very small scale because it's in Winnipeg. Um, but it's it was so much fun. Like, one of the really cool things about it is that they have, like, these specific party rooms so oh. because it all takes place in like the Radisson Hotel in Winnipeg. Ooh. So basically people will rent out party rooms for the con, but they'll like have their own room like completely like decked out like crazy. And then they'll have like pop, like beer, like fucking shots, but their room will be like all crazy decorated. And so oh, nice. there's like a list of like these party rooms okay. that you get to see when you check into the hotel. And there'll be like a floor that the Radisson will have just for like party rooms. And, like, you get to go, and there'll be, like, a bunch of people who are, like, come to our party room, and they'll have, like, free shit. So you'd go to one that you've already, you've already been there? 
rather than that dinner one you have never made? Uh, I mean, I just really liked. I that's just like okay. I had so, so much basically fun. you want to go to that one and the roll the and tabletop. The Gen Con. Yeah, okay. I don't know. That's I've been to like a lot of really amazing cons. Mm-hmm. I just like the small scale shit that's cool. now. I don't know. That's fair. I don't have any grand ambition. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Carmen? Are there any that you know of that you're like? I don't really know of of any. I'd probably go to some pet expo in like Europe. They're yeah, really amazing. Because I I really like pets. So. That's cool. That's awesome. I my bucket list is I want to go to Comic Con once. Mm. Oh man. Um, it's so hard to get into, mm-hmm. but really? Oh yeah, it's Why? hard. Getting tickets can be nearly impossible sometimes. They so, sell out, like, really fast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think one day, just to, like, say I've done it mm-hmm. would be really cool. And then the Disney convention, D23. That sounds mm-hmm. cool. Yeah. Because I would be so in my element, I would, like, pass out from joy. <laughs> I'd be so excited. Yeah, no, that's awesome. <laughs> and I'd have to buy a whole new suitcase to come home with because yeah. I've got too much stuff. <laughs> that's great. I love that's that. the tea. All right. Well, I think that's a good little discussion about conventions. Is there anything else you guys want to add? I want to say that I wish that when I was seven, I appreciated that I met Guy Gavriel K, but I didn't. Oh, no. Because oh. now he's my favorite author. Oh, oh no. Nice. Except for Tyler, I guess. Aw. Oh. <laughs> Yay. Thumbs up from Tech Wizard Tyler. A little bit of a sad smile from Thumbs, thumbs Wizard Tyler. Thumb Tech <laughs> Wizard. That's that one. Yep. I'm sorry, Tyler. Are you mad at me? <laughs> no, not at all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks to our listeners for listening to us ramble on about conventions. I'm sure it sounds like when you go to actual conventions. <laughs> yeah, right. I'd like to thank everybody for being here today. Thanks, guys. Yay! Woo-hoo. All right. If you enjoyed today's episode, please rate and review and subscribe. On all platforms, we are at Darling Dorks Podcast on Instagram and Facebook. You can email questions and ideas and comments to darlingdorkspodcast at gmail.com. We also want to thank Tech Wizard Tyler, and please go check out his YouTube channel, Fourth Wall Creations. They have launched their sitcom, and go subscribe so you don't miss out on any new episodes coming out. And the Um, sitcom is funny. Yes, and some of your favorite dorks are in it, so you should go check it out. (laughs) Actually, like, Amy's the only one here not in it, but she helped us film. I was going to say, I get filming. Uh, yeah, I get yeah. filming yeah. credits now. Videographer. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Is there even a difference? Probably. Yes, Based but... on the way that you said that. <laughs> there it's all good. It's all good. You're yeah, good. you're good. Oh. <laughs> well, we will see you all next time. So in the meantime, stay darling and stay wonderful dorks. Bye. 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 If there was an Avatar convention, you would die. You'd you'd be gone. You'd be, like, out the door. What if there was an Avatar convention, and then you got, and you went there, and it was, like, you had, like, a week prepared to go to this Avatar convention, and it was, like, the blue people Avatar instead of Avatar the Last Avatar. Oh, no. What would you do? Would you just die? What would you do? The Darling Dorks Podcast is produced by Fourth Wall Creations, defying all normal conventions. Wink. Music for Darling Dorks was made by Showbiz, who are releasing their debut album Illusion this upcoming spring. Thanks for listening.